It's kind of a crazy thing to try to explain that I don't need anything anymore. I don't need health. I don't need my body. I don't need well-being. I don't need to be happy. But doing those things in a human form will help keep me along the path of doing that for other people and helping them be healthy and happy and finding what they need. Because right now, literally, I almost have to force myself to work out, not because I don't enjoy it, but because it's unnecessary and I feel like I'm being selfish by getting into really good shape. Because what am I going to accomplish by getting in shape? Impressing people? Living a long life around everybody who's wild and crazy, who has no idea what's going on in the world? And I'm not trying to say wild and crazy in a negative way. It's just, if, if you see where I'm coming from, why would I want to be in great shape when nobody is paying attention to what matters? They're only trying to impress each other or be happy with who they are. When you just are. You don't even have to be happy with who you are. You just know the truth beyond this body. So this body lost its importance in a gotta be here sense. Because I don't have to live as a human being named Dan. Because I'm still here. I've always been here. And that's something that I truly understand and I truly experience at all levels. All the time. Through a human body. Through a spiritual body. Through a conscious being. Not just some BS that I'm throwing out to people. This is my everyday, all the time life. It doesn't go away. I can't just be duped by stupidity. It doesn't mean I, like I said, it doesn't mean I know everybody's details. Because I don't want to. Nobody would want to. You don't want to know everything ahead of time. Believe me, once you do, it makes everything really boring. When you know what the people are going to say before they say it. When you know what stuff's going to be about before it's on, you don't even want to do it. So what's the point of me getting on shape, trying to do all this great stuff for myself, when if it's not helping other people, there's no point to me. There's no point to being here unless I'm going to better what's around me. And what's around me is also my body. So therefore, the only reason that I have motivation to take care of myself is to be better for other people. Not even because I want anything. Now, isn't that a weird, weird situation? Yes, I like to work out. I've developed to the point where I enjoy exercising. I enjoy engaging my body and being active. That's a great feeling. It's better than drugs. But just like I don't need drugs, I don't want exercise. I don't need anything. I found God. God doesn't need to work out. You think God would need to work out? No. <clears throat> and I'm not trying to belittle any of the names when I say God. God is the most amazing thing of all things, and you're part of it too. So, it's like, I don't even... I, it's not that I could even say something like, I lack motivation. I have so much motivation. All I have is true spiritual motivation. I have no interest... And no motivation to be distracted by anything that doesn't matter. And just about everything going on around me doesn't matter right now. Like I said, my life itself doesn't matter. But when you have things around you and there are things happening, you might as well prioritize the things that make sense to be here. Livingness, experience, consciousness, love, people, interactions, happenings. Yes, those are meant to be here. So let's work on making those better. Let's not make ourselves, you know, fascinated by all this crap anymore. Because there's no point to it. There's no point of me wanting to be around to help people if they want to trash themselves on purpose. So that's all. Just, it's a very difficult su situation. Just a whole weird scenario to deal with is that I'm not motivated to work out for me. I'm not motivated to do anything healthy for me because no one's watching. No one's paying attention. And I don't want their attention like that. It's not like, look at me. I want your attention. It's because what I have is valuable for them in a way that they've never looked into their own life. And they all, like anyone who listens to that feels insulted by it, but they're not paying attention to themselves very often. Ever. They're doing what people tell them. But... I'm not going to go off on any tangents, so peace.